Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Candy Coated Conversations. Come on in, grab a seat so we can have a little conversation about y'all's favorite internet couple, TikTok sensations, M- Mrs. Netta and Charles. That's how y'all say it, not Charles. Charles, your lunch is ready. Anyways, y'all, we I wanted to come over here and make a quick little video about these two because, you know, it's so funny. And y'all, look, don't call me crazy because, look, I ain't crazy. I already knew what the deal was. But initially, I'm not going to lie, initially, I had to look, you know, real hard, like, okay, is this a man or is this a woman? And then there are still people that are like, okay, no, it's a woman. You know, it, it is a woman. You know, of course, they keep going by Mrs. Netta and she, you know, things like that. So there was a little bit of confusion and back and forth on if Netta was really a man or a woman. Some people genuinely, genuinely feel like that is a woman. Well, just this past week, Netta has came out and had the actual discussion. You know, she's stating that it was never a secret anyways, but it was just her mind and her own business and her personal choice just to keep her mouth shut about herself. And she was just living her life. And I totally get that. I totally get it. And I agree with it. You know, hey, that is your business, baby. Do you be happy and live your life. But she did put it into the confusion. But before I get to that, let's talk about old Mr. Charles here who had so much to say about something. And I want to share this with you guys. I was a little bit like, you know, mind your business. And then uh, let me just share it with you guys. And then we'll get into the discussion about it. So let me pull this up and see your thoughts on what he had to say in regard to women. So here we go. Women. They want to be modern. But at the same time, be a housewife. You can't do that. You can't. You got to pick one. You can't sit here and say you want to be married, but then you see and say you a you a modern woman. You can't be modern and married at the same time. You can't. You got to pick one. You can only pick one. Mm. You can't do both because I'm I'm pull out this here. If you could do both, now out of ten, your husband or boyfriend is a beta tie simp. I'm sorry. These will probably like if you sit here and say you can do that, your man is a beta simp. Now, this is what got me. We have a gay man, man trying to tell women what they need to be and categorizing their men if they have a man that allows them to be a quote unquote modern woman, that he is a beta simp. Sir, what are you? You're a gay man married to a man, you know, of course. What are you? Because it seems as if he's thinking that he's some alpha man, which I guess maybe he is in his relationship with a beta man. Maybe he is an alpha man. But let's look at some of these uh, comments. First was said, okay, expert. And then the next person said, he can't tell me nothing about a woman when he's married to a man. Save it for your husband, sir. Somebody else said, I like Charles better when he only said, mm, it's good. <laughs> Someone else said, look here, little murder. We don't tell you how to live your life with Uncle Cliff. Don't tell us how to live ours. Somebody else said, and that's why he went and got him a man. I know that's right, Charles. Somebody else said, you were the man. You can't give us advice, Charles. And I completely agree because I was like, why are you even opening up your mouth on women's business when you were the man? We, we don't want to hear what you have to say. I thought that was real odd, you guys. Um, and so now let's go to where um, Mrs. Netta is revealing about her relationship and her status. Okay. Yeah, because I, I didn't. I, I know even you know I'm trans, and so my pronouns are she and her. So I respect everybody's pronouns. And obviously, I'm not going to call you anything but she and her because you play the woman role over there, right. frying bacon and saltan for, <laughs> for Charles, honey. But are, so, what area would you fall under the, in the LBGTQA community? Are you non-binary, trans? You know, I never. Um, 
I never uh, categorized myself in none of that. I just always been myself. Mm -hmm. And this me, my everyday look, you know, all, all of this, my everyday look and stuff. And um, it's just something I've just been doing ever since I was, you know, growing up in life. And I don't think I'm a transsexual. I don't think I'm a, a, a whatever the other names they got. I don't like calling them. But uh, I don't think I'm none of those. I just more be like myself. You know, my, my stage name is Miss Netta. Uh -huh. A lot of people know my real name, uh, thanks to the internet, which is fine. But um, it doesn't matter. A lot of people say I'm ashamed of my sexuality, which I am not. Because people here in our city knows me. And everything. So um, it wasn't about me hiding my sexuality because I'm, I, we are well known here in the city. But uh, it was just more like if that was my business. And when I wanted to put when I want to put my business out, then that's when I do it. And I just wasn't ready yet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, gir the girls are gagging to know when you say your uh, sexuality. So this means w were you born male like me? Because I was born male. <laughs> yes, I was born male. Okay, sister. What the <laughs> day? <thing? laughs> so who are, who are, uh whoever that's watching this, y'all got y'all in. I okay. mean, I never put it out there, but you know, like I said, if we go uh live and we feel like that we comfortable and stuff in the live, you know, we would come out and we would say, you know, what you know, answer some of their questions. And so, you know, it like is it's, it's out. I like it. Yeah. You know, you know what, you said I'm gonna like go ahead and it. say this. Um I appreciate the way you just handled that mm -hmm. because, you know, you both of y'all blew up on social media and there's a lot of interest in y'all. And there's people that are theorizing, having their say. And for you to just answer the question straight on, take it on and give us an honest answer. It shows your confidence in yourself and it shows like you're standing on your business and you're unapologetically right. you. So that is a major thing. So I appreciate both you and Charles for being here and for addressing it and not running from it because there's a lot of young people that were in your shoes when you, yeah. like you said, since you were six, that are going to look at you and be like, you're about to have a show, you're blowing up, you're everywhere, you're getting brand deals, and y'all look happy. So much right. I, much respect, okay? You're part of the LBGTQI. Okay. So this is what I wanted to take a minute to say. First of all, why did Charles look like he wanted Netta to shut up? Like he really was looking like, please just hush and stop talking. Then the first uh, and the next thing that stood out to me was the fact that when um, she was asked if she, you know, where she considered herself to be as part of the um, LGBTQ, you know, uh, alphabet community, why she acted like she didn't even know what the letter stood for. Was it just me that got that feeling? I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comment section. But it seemed like Netta did not know what none of those damn letters stood for. And she was just going with the flow and then just try to say, oh, I just want to be myself. I just want to be me. I think she didn't even know what all them damn letters stood for. And look, I ain't mad at her because they be adding on new ones every year. Look, I be trying to be a supporter of the community. But look, y'all adding on too many letters. Hell, I don't know my damn self what some of this stand for. I be just be trying to keep up and be a supporter and an ally, you know. But um, there you guys finally have it. Out of Mrs. Netta's own mouth, she was born a man, identifies as a woman, as we know. But now we can say definitively, for sure, 100%, she is a man okay married to a man um and now let's get into that because it appears that charles and netta have tied the knot congratulations to them wishing them all the best and i'm not gonna y'all they truly do look happy and and happy with one another from my understanding they've been together for some years now of course miss netta is older than charles and um i think that she stated that there was a period of time before they even came out about the relationship because he is old or she is older and they had to, you know, make sure the families were okay. I don't know. I don't know if, how underage Charles was under her, but there was something with that. But with that being said, they are now public. They're together and happy and wed. So let me go ahead and share um, the wedding pictures that were shared. So let's take a look, y'all. Here we go. Exclusive. Mrs. Ned and Charles got married. Okay. So let me blow this up a little bit. So there, you know, Miss Netta looked gorgeous on her wedding day. 
very happy. There you go. They turned the notch, y'all. Here's the next one. So congratulations to them. You know, you can say what you want, but you know what? At the end of the day, um, true love is hard to find. And if you found it with your person, more power to you. And, you know, wishing them all the happiness in the world. So there you guys have it. It is official. Charles and Netta are married. Miss Netta is, was born a man. So that is confirmed to anyone that ever had a question. And like I said, I know it sounds crazy. Like, oh, you can't see that. But, you know, some people were questioning, oh, the breasts look real. Look, some people, some men, depending on their weight and things like that, do look like they have breasts. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. But the if there's been a question in your mind, it has been put to rest. Wishing them all the happiness, Charles and Netta. And thank you guys for joining me for another quick episode of Candy Coated Conversations. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and see you on the next live. You guys have a great day. Bye.